Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the best Black Ops 1 Zombies map with 50 perks on Black Ops 3. Obviously, we cannot do this in the regular version of Call of the Dead. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the BO3 version. Started off with Quick Revive. We can get all... 50 of these perks, which is something that I am so incredibly excited about because Call of the Dead is one of my favorite zombies maps ever. And now that it has mod capability, it just gets me so excited because this is coming to Transit, Die Rise, and Buried on Black Ops 3. We got these boys flying away from us. Gobblegum is also zero points. Let's also hit it as well. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm super excited. I believe because of this mod, we don't actually have George Romero. I believe there were some modding issues with him being inside of the map that just caused errors. And so, my boy George Romero, he ain't here. He ain't here. Oh, we got Banana Colada, but I gotta turn on the power, though. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. So, let's see if we can get all of the perks. There is going to be more than 50 perks, but round it off it should still be 50 oh man if i had the death machine on george here i just lay into him but george would have been really interesting because he actually gives free perks when you take him out and so it would have just added a whole other layer and boys i'm telling you once transit and die rise and buried come out for black ops 3 customs i'm gonna be doing every single challenge under the literal sun with them okay let's also hit this fire sale as well on call of the dead and see where we can go my man george is angry see the thing is is even though george isn't on the map he has an ability where whenever he yells he makes the zombies run really really fast and so we have to be very careful about that we got speed cola as well up in here that's a huge huge perk to get uh i'm gonna get rid of them 1911 i know everybody's like bro you're getting rid of them 1911 on a bo1 map Yes, I am, but you know what? We have some really, really good weapons already. Spectre and the RPK. Oh my gosh, yeah. Listen, I have always said this before. Black Ops 1 Zombies, to me, is my favorite Zombies game. Like, it's unfair with BO3 because it has Chronicles and Custom Maps, and obviously it's my number one. But to be honest, man, like, if I were to pick my favorite game, it's always been Black Ops 1. There's something about the original game of Zombies. I know World at War was the original, but BO1, I think, was the polished version of World at War. And it was obviously my first game, and so it is obviously a biased thing to say. Uh, but man, BO1 did something that I just feel like didn't really get replicated. Oh my gosh, look at the Matroish good all though. Okay, let's end this round. Let's end round four here, and then we'll go straight to turn on power and start grabbing our perks. Now, Call of the Dead does have an Easter egg, and so I mean, man, maybe if we get BR11, I could do it. It's a very fast Easter egg. So, uh, that's good. Oh, is this the point cashback perk? Honestly, I think I'm going to go right now. I'm not going to end round and I'm going to get that perk. Yeah, okay. So, this is last guy. Just got to be very careful because this boy is hauling it. Yeah, I'm calling the dead with George, bro. These boys are not slow, man. They, they, uh, they zoom. Okay, let's hit the actual mystery box. Then turn on power. Bro, I literally love Sean, the man who created this uh, remaster on Black Ops 3. He's actually working with me on a project for Fortnite Zombies right now. And, oh my gosh, bro. Like, this remaster is literally one of my favorites. He did such a good job. And the fact that Reaper, as well, got his mod to work on this is really cool. Okay, so that boy is dead. Let's turn this over here. And I believe we have the uh the easter egg done for this also yeah the perks do over? just be flying in uh <laughs> so yeah let's just make sure we get the mule kick is down there oh man i didn't get the point cash back did i i'm such an idiot i always forget about that okay mule kick is here what else do we have there we have that magnet perk zombie shell from bo4 uh, so yeah, there's obviously going to be different perks, machine spawns that are different than the original Call of the Dead. Uh, but let's see if we can find some um, uh, Crusader Ale. We need something that gives us points, man. We need something that gives us points. Also, rest in peace, my boy George Romero, the director, man. Literally, bro. What a legend. Uh, Blood Bullets is pretty good, but it's... It only regenerates ammo. You know, I'm looking for something that gives me... Um, 
that gives me more points also yeah honestly let's see if we can do the easter egg as well with this bro that'll be that'll be a lot of fun man black ops one's easter eggs were quite simplistic oh my gosh okay i'm just gonna open up all the doors man usually i keep one of these doors closed for the high rounds but i mean we're just having a great time on call of the dead right here oh man yeah i will have to say though the bo1 weapons definitely got a buff in this they're usually way worse uh, but they actually did get a buff. Uh, and it's not the damage, I think, that got a buff. I think it's more so the ammo. Because that was the biggest issue I remember with Black Ops 1. Is that the ammo in the guns were literally non-existent. They were just not there. Uh, so, I believe the original perk spots should still be in the original spot. So, I believe stamina up should be here. Hopefully. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's Ethereal Razor. You know what? I'm going to buy Ethereal. I'm gonna actually buy this. Oh, oh, the point cashback one is here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're buying this too. Yeah. So the reason why I'm buying Ethereal Razor is because it should. Yeah, it's a one hit knife on round five with this perk. Wow. Okay, and pack punches right here. Don't really need it. But yeah, Ethereal Razor is very important because it's just it's just big money, bro. Knifing the zombies on round five. I don't even have a Bowie, bro. I legit don't even have a Bowie. That's how OP it is. Oh, stamina up was over there, man. So, yeah, I feel like it's important that we open up the whole map. Let me just pop the second raindrops in here. Uh, I'm going to hit the uh, fire sale. We got Vault Raid, so I can actually see where the perks are. Oh, wow. We're getting really lucky on these perks. Uh, okay, let's get a mystery box. The closest one is down here. We got Blood Wolf Bite in front of us. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to need it. I'm just going to get rid of the, uh, the HS-10. Wow, man. I love the way Reaper did Vulture Aid on this uh, mod. Reaper has really fixed a lot of the broken perks that were in custom zombies before, like Vulture Aid, and he's really done such an amazing job updating this mod. And I've even seen that he's been updating this mod while everybody on YouTube has been doing their 50 perk videos. And so I will have a link to the mod in the top of the description for you guys to check out. Genuinely, Reaper, this is one of the best mods on black ops 3 hands down and the fact that it works even on custom maps is just testament that so much work has been put behind it let's get deadshot just because <laughs> i mean hey deadshot was introduced on call of the dead man we gotta pay respects by getting it no other map i'll do that other than call of the dead listen that's my, probably my least favorite aspect of call of the dead is that um <laughs> Even though I love this map, it introduced Deadshot Daiquiri, so a uh, bit of an L in my opinion. This also, we got Blaze Phase here. Isn't the sickle supposed to be on the wall? I guess it is, but maybe... Oh, no, here it is. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go, bro. And the sickle animations look goaded, yeah. I'm going to stick with using the sickle for a bit. Let's just long range this guy. Is there any more? Who's left, bro? Who's still alive? A lol? Oh, this man. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we're going to keep going. Let's see if we can uh, just basically use all of our sickle to get a ton of points here. I'm really just going to be looking for the perks that give you a bunch of money. These custom perks that give you just a ton of money are absolutely insane. Fighter's Fizz, we don't need. Let's open up here and see if uh, any of the ones are here. Daminade, we got the weapons on the wall. Blaze Face. Oh, Time Slip is good. Time Slip, honestly... And Winner's Whale, I have to say, are probably the two best perks from BO4. If you played a lot of BO4, you know exactly what I'm saying. Winter's Whale is literally a better version of Widow's Wine from Black Ops 3. I know my BO3 purists are probably listening to me and being like, what did you just say? Bro, I'm telling y'all the truth. I am telling y'all the truth right now. Winter's Whale from BO4 was even more broken than Widow's Wine. And it's because you could literally recharge the Widow's Wine grenade effect without even having to find more grenades. It was so OP. It was based off of a timer. And especially if you had it in your modifier slot on BO4, man, was that perk ever broken. Okay, so yeah, let's get time slip. I also love the perk machine Reaper put on this, 2k. Yeah, and this speeds up mystery box and path speed. This is genuinely one of the best perks ever, especially if you're trying to roll for the box or something, like a, the, uh, the wonder weapon or whatnot. Static elixir. Honestly, the ones that give you effects while you sprint, I'm not too much of a fan of them, to be quite honest. They're just kind of whatever um ooh, expenditure exemption so this will give us half off of everything so i can afford anything that's 1200 points right now 
Uh, nuke. Honestly. Uh, okay, I think I'll grab it. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Why not? Yeah, let's buy the, let's buy the door. Um, so for the next step of the Easter egg, I believe the next step is the radios. I know on the Call of the Dead remaster, the, the perks are a little different. Oh no, I have to put in the fuse and then do the grenades. Yeah, let's do that. Let's actually, let's actually continue with the Easter egg here. So the fuse should be up here somewhere, either here, here, or here where it okay. actually is. There we go. Like Victoria's Tortoise, useless on a map like Call of the Dead. There's no shield on here. Okay. So now the fuse is in here. Dempsey just yapping, so I gotta wait for him. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now we can grenade. I'm actually gonna get the Semtexes so I do this um, without actually dying. Uh, I literally am... I think I can do this Easter egg without a guide. I love Call of the Dead enough that I think I can do it without a guide. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Any good perks I can get? Blood bullets regenerating ammo. I am gonna be honest, is kind of a good shot. Let's get this. So this perk literally just regens ammo, which is so good. I love that. Also, I forgot I had the RPK. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just, <laughs> I've just been spinning, spinning and spinning, bro. Legit. Listen, I've been seeing memes that COD Zombies turns you into a gambler. I'm not gonna lie, maybe those are true. <laughs> listen, I don't gamble with real money, but listen, I'm not gonna lie, I know some COD Zombie players that 100% do. And I'm not gonna say names, but I know you guys know them, bro. <laughs> oh man, dude, yeah, what a video game COD Zombies is, man, for real. What a video game. Uh, but, okay, let's get the generators now. So, the four generators should be turned on. What do we got here? Zombie shell. Zombie shell would honestly not be bad for a map like this. It, like, when you take out a group of zombies, it spawns in, like, a slow orb effect. And for a map this close quarters, it would be a really good perk. Uh, Dying Wish is 4k. It's basically, like, gives you invincibility when you're just about to die for about 9 seconds. And then it's a cooldown perk. I am going to actually grab it. I do have expenditure exemption, so I should be able to grab it with 2k here. Yep, there we go. And then let's now get the generators. So, yeah. Okay, the perks are cycling. I literally love how Reaper designed the perks where he put in different machines in different spots. And then every round they cycle. So, it's always something fresh. It's always something different. Like... I would absolutely love if Treyarch added that. Okay, that's double tap up there and Widows. We should definitely prioritize that. Pack a box, whatever. Let's see if I can hit the gen. Yes, sir, baby. We got it. Hey, okay. Um, we are out of ammo on the AUG. I got to get double tap before this expenditure exemption goes away and Widows, bro. So I just need 3k points to get all to get both of those. That is so nice. Literally all like and this is the other thing Reaper even added different Custom gobblegum like this gobblegum is not in the vanilla version of the game And it gets me excited man because if COD 2024 is actually gonna be releasing gobblegum like the leaks say Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see all the new gobblegums man Like I know everybody's not gonna be excited about the microtransaction system But I actually made a good point in my last stream about it and and this is my point for everybody that hates operators if they add in a gobblegum microtransaction system, I don't think that they would make operators like a part of the microtransaction system in zombies, if you get what I'm saying. Why would they add two microtransaction systems when gobblegum, in my opinion, was selling already more back in the day with Black Ops 3? And I think that is the proposed idea that maybe Kevin Drew, the leader of... Uh, production for cod zombies right now at treyarch probably suggested to activision which is replace the operator bundle microtransaction system with gobblegums and i think it would sell more for zombie players and 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 in that way there's actually a chance for original characters to come back into cod zombies if that is what happens with cod 2024 i'm gonna be honest that's the best case scenario that's the best case scenario no lie also this goblin is about to be done i need 2k points pronto. I'm not gonna get it, aren't I? Oh, brother. Where are these zombies, man? Legit, try to... Try to, try to scam me out here. Oh, come 
Oh, I just ran out. I was just going to get Bandolier. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the other generator is down here. Let's get that. And then let's go to Stamina Up as well and get that. Um, yeah, honestly, I think I opened up all the way down here. Um, also, for people asking me about Die Rise, if we're adding in Gobblegum, we are. The way we are actually switching it, though, because we have Perma Perks on it, is we are making it so that Gobblegum can only be purchased. Also, this would have been so nice. If only I had the expenditure. We are making it so Gobblegum can only be purchased once you complete the Easter egg. Because Perma Perks we have in the map, and we this want people to use the perma perk system first uh so yeah i don't think there's a gobble gun machine here let's see if i can hit this gen oh that was the yoss yes sir what a yoss bro after all these years my skill has been refined <laughs> it's coming back to me man it's coming back to me now i ain't gonna do no fancy flinger strat but oh man i also should have grabbed uh stamina up up there Stone Cold's over here. Uh, also, I, sh I literally am forgetting to use the sickle as well. You know what? Let's grab Electric Cherry. Electric Cherry on this mod is probably super goaded. Um, and what is that for? Wait, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's uh, Attack Tequila Sangria, I think. And then we have the last gen, which is right here. Oh, is it covered by the icebergs? It is. I forgot, let's, what's the actual best way to hit this without doing that crazy strat that the speedrunners do with the flinger? Is there an now. opening somewhere? Oh my gosh, they literally covered it. They don't want you hitting this, bro, for real. What the heck? This water is um, I think there's a way maybe you can see it from the power boat. Let's try and see. Let's also hit a gobble here. Are you going to give me shopping free? This might be shopping free. Okay, well, let's see if I can get any of the, the good expensive perks. Anything good here? Yeah, you know what? Let's just get the useless uh, perks here. Uh, moon, Madgas Moonshine. This is just a double jump perk for PhD. Yeah, so whenever we slide, you hear this explosion effect. Is that PhD Slider? Oh, that is. Okay, you know what? Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, let's... Yeah, Victorious Tortoise is a useless perk on this map. It gives you full defense with your shield, but there's no shield on this map. So, let's see if the... Oh, Pack-A-Box. Honestly, this is a perk I'm going to buy. This, this perk is actually one of the best perks, I think, in this whole mod pack. Because it literally gives you a chance of getting a packed weapon from the Mystery Box. Like, how insane is that, bro? That is so cool, in my opinion. Um, let's also go... Oh, Nuka Cola is also big. This thing, I think, gives you a bunch of points when you hit nukes. What does it do again? I forgot. Sets off a nuke when down. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, we don't have enough for a mystery box. I'm gonna get rid of the AUG. Oh, I just got a ton of points. Oh, it's from the nuke. I didn't even realize. CZ? Oh, man. It's not even packed either, but we got absolutely scammed off the rip. Okay, let's see if I can find the, um, that generator. It should be, like, over here, right? Oh, look at that devious placement of it, bro. That's, that's gold, right? Hey, that's money! That's money, man. I think on the remaster, no lie, it's definitely easier to hit the gens, um, than in the original. In the original, bro, I'm telling you, it's so difficult. Okay, Widow's Wine is down there. I'm not gonna lie, we need that, boy. We need that boy. Uh, also, I just realized I think I have to do Lighthouse Step as well on Solo. Um, or maybe that's only co-op. I cannot remember. Uh, but on Call the Dead Remaster, I do remember there's like numbers that tell you how to do the um, how to do the Easter egg. I legit might have to pull it up um, because I forgot. I think it, like there's a certain code that you do it in. I remember you don't ever need to touch the bottom floor. Oh, oh, Dying Wish saved me. Oh, I was about to down there. Oh, I got stuck on the spiral staircase. Oh, thank you, Dying Wish. Goaded, goaded perk. So yeah, basically now Dying Wish brings you back as red screen. But as you can see, I was invincible for like nine seconds there. So that's pretty nice. Okay, I remember now on Call of the Dead, they placed... What was it? Is that double tap? What is that? No, that's banana. Oh, let's get banana colada, bro. Man, I'm so excited. And by the way, we are adding banana colada into Die Rise. I feel like it's just such a cool perk to add a Die Rise. If you don't know, whenever you slide, you get like this glowing banana effect. It was a 
a community perk that basically was added in by Madgaz. And everybody loved it, including myself. I, I absolutely loved it. And just the fact that it finally has been put into custom zombies and it's just... It's a great perk, man. It's so much fun. And on Die Rise, I can't wait to see people fly off the map with it and, like, troll their friends. Oh, it's gonna be exciting. Oh, it's, it makes me happy. Um, but okay. I, I went too far up. Vulture and also working W. Let's hit the box again. I'm gonna throw my choice good all up in here, but you have you have PhD. Oh, come on, give me a path weapon. G11 also is one of those weapons that you really only see in BO1. Man, you do not see this gun anywhere else. Uh, okay, so we have a number here, right? So our purple number is five. I can't remember what numbers we have to do. I'm just gonna keep that in the back of my mind. So purple is five. There should be a couple more numbers also. I think there was one near where the original jug spot is. Oh, man. I should also grab that MP40, bro. MP40 is goaded. Um, and, yeah, there should be one down here as well. Another, like, note. Here. So, purple 5, yellow 6. Okay. Purple 5, yellow 6. But I think we need orange, don't we? Yeah, we definitely do. Also, I'm going to hit a gobble again. Matryoshka saved me. I have PhD, so I should be all right. Oh, man, that's so nice. Let's hit it again. Um, cash back. Honestly, pretty good. Pretty good. I'll take it. Yeah, free max ammo. I will absolutely take that. Now, let's go and see if I can remember how to do uh, these next steps. I have to knife the door here. Oh, Jug is here. Yeah, let's get Jug. <laughs> all these perks, and I even got Jug, man. The one and only mandatory perk, quite literally. Uh, quick Revive also is up there, but I have Quick Revive. Um, is, wow, it's still one-hitting. Okay, maybe I should knife. I was like, it's really one-hitting? Yeah, bro. Okay, so we should have a blue number here that we need. Ah, blue three. So purple five, yellow six, blue three. And then we should get an orange number as well. And I think that will be at where Stamina is, if I believe. Let's check. So yellow is six um purple or sorry oh i'm forgetting all the numbers now i always do this is there another number here i can't remember if there's a number that spawns over here i can't remember uh there what yeah it's interesting that the lighthouse step definitely got changed for called it i think it's a lot better um, but I just forgot how you do it. I think the order that you do it in is, uh, orange, purple, blue, but I don't have the orange number. <laughs> Bro doesn't even have the orange number. Oh my goodness. Who is this man? Uh, but yeah, also we have to, uh, we have to knife the door. So let's knife the door next. And I think that allows us to do the next step. Um, yeah, let's just wait. <laughs> Rick Toffin just yapping. Yeah, and I think I think my character has to say something to Rick Toffin for it to be for it to be good. Hello? There we go. Good old Sarah Michelle Geller. Okay, so now I believe the next step is radios. Um so the radio step is or it's lighthouse. I think it's actually both of them. Because both of these steps are what spawn in the um what is it? It's what spawns in the green light that allows you to use the VR-11. Uh, also, I'm going to throw down a Matryoshka. Let's hit the gobble gun. Hey, ABH actually could be goaded. Um, especially on this, if, if we are doing the radio step right now. So the radio step is literally you just hit four radios in a specific order without getting absolutely bullied. So the first radio, if we are on the step, should be right here. Yep, so that is the first radio. I'm gonna pop ABH. The next one is at Stamina Up, which we are just got placed right next to. Perfect RNG, legit. Uh, and then the third one is, uh, we're gonna go all the way up to the top of the lighthouse. Is that Stamina Up? Yeah, I'm gonna buy this low key. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my gosh, yep. Stamina Up, oh brother, no, do not die. I'm throwing, a, I'm throwing a Matryoshka down. I love the Matryoshkas, especially when you have PhD. 
Uh, let's you let's make the most of this double points. Yeah, we gotta buy the whole lighthouse all the way up. And these doors ain't cheap. They are not cheap. Let me tell you this, bro. Okay. So all the way up here, and then ooh, we got vault right up here, but I don't need it. And now we jump down. And then the next radio, I believe, is right here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Yep. And then the last one is right actually next to the door where the characters are. And then I believe once we're done this, now we have to do lighthouse. So this is where uh, it gets a little interesting. It gets a little interesting. So the last radio is right here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So now we have the green lights just kind of going off. Yeah, you can see the distance there. And then the way we get the beam, I believe now, is... Wait, what is this? Oh, this is one of the new perks. Momentum Mojito. Oh, bro, this is this is one of the new perks that Reaper added. And it's the one that when you sprint, sprint it makes you faster. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is probably one of the best perks I've ever played with. It is insane. Look at this. Double tap shift to toggle momentum kill mode like what the heck look how fast i'm running like that is so ridiculous okay let's also see if i can remember where the last number is it could be next to phd here it's an orange number that's on the ground uh so it's very similar to the one that's over here speak hole we already have the one that's over here, blue is three. And yeah, we have to do this in a specific order, which I remember being orange, purple, blue. So blue is three. Um, but I just don't remember where we find all the other codes. There's one code that is is absolutely missing. Um, and, that, and then once we do this, literally we're just on to VR 11 step. I'm too poor. Could it be at spawn? There ain't no way. Also, this is a new perk as well. No bear brew. Prevents teddy bears from the mystery box and bear bottles. Oh, wow. So it just cancels out mystery box. So does it just like lock the box in? Kind of like Leroy from Buried? It probably does. What the heck? That's crazy. Um, oh, and Jug was over here. Is there only one paper on the side? Really? Yeah, purple was five. So if purple is five and blue is three, but yellow... I have my yellow number. The thing is, though, is I don't know what to make the orange number. I have to figure out what to make the orange number. The orange number, I don't think would be on the ship, to be quite honest. If there is an orange number that spawns in, it would have to be somewhere else. Also, big double ABH up in here. I was, I thought this number also at Jug was going to be orange. I thought for sure it was. Maybe it's up here. I know they place them next to perks. No, not here. Dang. Yeah, it's crazy as well because Sean or Top for that added in so many different, um, so many different little side Easter eggs that really feel like Chronicles. Like there's one where you like shoot. There's like a red button here that you have to shoot, and uh, it, it spawns in like a little Samantha Maxis doll. It's really cool. I'm popping ABH. I'm gonna die here. Yep. Okay, big ABH. And then let's go again and see if we can hit it. I just need to figure out what these numbers are. So blue is five. Or sorry, blue is three. Purple is five. This is... Was this yellow or orange, bro? I have to check what it was again. That's yellow, man. Yellow six. So then what the frick is orange, bro? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, let's... Let's pop another ABH. I think orange was at... It's not here, is it? No. I, th I, I thought for sure orange was at stamina upside. For sure, I thought. There's no way there's another one in the lighthouse. And if you guys are confused as to what I mean, what I'm talking about is... Oh, yellow is the top floor. Okay, so I do know my code. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. I'm so sorry. I thought this top floor was... Um... Oh, Widow's Wine, please save me. Um, I thought this top floor was, uh, orange. So wait, hold on. So we have our code now. If purple is five and blue is three, yellow, I believe was six. So our code is six, five, three, six, five, three is our code. And then we're going to basically just use that expenditure exemption. I mean, let me just see if I can pick up any of these with, um, 
the shopping for death perception allows us to see through walls nearby zombies will be slowed to a walking pace just getting some of the basics done is i filling up souls oh yeah there's a soul fill up here this is a part of the uh the the side easter egg as well oh my gosh yeah this map was really cool the way they did it tackle sangria firewall sprinting you get bonus points yeah i will take that and let's also grab bandolier extra ammo for all weapons and let's hit a gobble oh my goodness we love the perks man okay matryoshka dolls coming down and then now we have our code 653 let's see if i can do this without even looking up a guide i just remember doing this call of the dead easter egg so much on the remaster and so it's exciting to see uh that we can do it again mojito let's go baby oh man what a sick perk what a sick perk it's literally like literally what i would think a stamina uh perma perk would feel like man i love how that is okay so literally this is a lighthouse step i'm gonna spawn in raindrops just so we get no zombies with us here yeah let's just do this so we don't get bullied so our top one here is going to be six so we turn this to six five six and then we do purple which is the very bottom floor. Um, and this was five. And then the next one now is blue, which is here. Uh, which was... Where's the paper again? Which was three. Oh. Oh my gosh. I think I messed it up. Oh, unless... Did I mess it up? I messed it up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, no. I did it wrong. Oh, no. See, this is the issue. When you mess this up, you are legit cooked. Because, yeah, that's the thing. I don't know what my uh, symbols are now. Oh, yeah, because this is not six anymore. Okay, so if I spin this to six, let's grab No Bear Brew as well. Also, I have the Magnet Perks, which allows us to swap them all out, which is nice. I think I got the order wrong. I think that's what it is. I, I had the right idea where you only need to spin three. Point Crusher gives us more points. But I got the order wrong. Okay, wait, this one's five. But then this one I have to spin to three, right? What is this one on now? Eight. Wait, 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 wait. So... It's five away. So if I spin this once, where does the top one go? I think I can figure this out mathematically. Because basically, if you switch one dial, you switch the other ones. Oh, it stays. Wait. Did I just do it wrong? Wait, I'm actually mega confused right now. Uh, let's let's pop the Matryoshkas. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Did I actually do this right or wrong? 653. Or does it change the bottom number? It changes the bottom number, doesn't it? Wait, no. Wait. Okay, now I'm really confused. <laughs> I thought I I thought I had it systematically mapped out. No, I have uh, been really confused. Wait, it is 653 now. But the orange number is wrong. Ah, uh, see, and this is the issue. I don't know what the orange number is. I have no clue where that piece of paper is. Because every piece of paper is on this map somewhere, but for that, for some reason, that one, I just don't know where it is. I'm going to make a guess, though, man, and I'm going to be honest. That last piece of paper has to be at Stamina Up. I'm going to go check there again. Repairman Rum repairs windows instantly. Oh, this was that perk that, like, when I repaired the windows, it gave me a bunch of points. Wow, okay. No, that's really good on a map like Call of the Dead with all these windows on the lighthouse. So this piece of paper, I'm almost certain has to be somewhere here. I'm really going to pay attention because it has... I don't know where else it could be. Really got a sheet of music up in here. Let's really look. I'm out here really looking for a piece of paper on the floor, my man. Could it be here? Uh, let's also throw him a choice guess so I don't die. Luna's coming in to save my absolute life. What a goat. 
Luna, you see an orange piece of paper on the floor? Do I really have to look up a call of the dead guide in the year of our Lord 2024? There ain't no way, man. There ain't no way, bro. Legit, I think I have to. I don't, I don't see it. I'm trying to think where else it could be. Because we know where the other three are. <gasps> Wait a second. I think I know. I think it's down here. No way. I think I'm right. It's down here somewhere, isn't it? Bro, I, there's no way they would put it in the water. But I think for sure it's somewhere here. Oh, brother. Um... Let's just check it. It's not here, is it? Wait. Really? I've been criminally scammed. Also, Ice Bull Blast. This gives us a double jump effect. Oh, the perk is a little ripped up right now. Dang, I really got scammed. I genuinely don't know where the orange slip of paper is. Oh, no. Well, I am I might actually look up a guide because I genuinely want to do this. I think... I think I'm on the right track. I just I just messed up the lighthouse step because I don't know. Um, I forgot how you actually do it correctly. Unless the orange slip of paper is just like on another level of the lighthouse. I doubt it, man. There ain't no way. There's legit no way. And the fact that we got the two slips of paper on here, and then there's one in the lighthouse, like, the other one has to be at stamina, bro. Unless there is just no place where it could be. I'm looking, bro, this map's got me studying the floor like an exam, my guy. What the heck? Also, let's pop some weapons. Let's get RPK upgraded. Also, we love time slip. Literally allow me to pick up this boy fast as possible. This map also originally has double pop, so... Uh, it's just pretty cool seeing how we can just tie these all in together. Man, I'm shocked I don't know where uh, this slip of paper is. I am not the call, do call the dead expert that I thought I was, man. Genuinely criminal. Okay, this is the one that allows us to run by the zombies and electrify them like that. That is so cool. Uh, G11 upgraded. Oh, good thing I did not put it in, bro. I would have been absolutely scammed. Oh, no. Man, I'm shocked. I'm legit going to look this up on my other side monitor here. Uh, Call of the Dead BO3EE. -E. Uh, Easter egg guide. Please, my gamers. Where it is. Turn yellow, turn purple, turn blue, turn orange, turn purple. But what if I don't know where the orange is? Um, what if I don't know where the orange is, my guy? Um... I'm curious. Also, do I have to do the foghorns too? I guess I'll try. Uh, so there. Let's let's see if I have to do the foghorns. I don't think so because the foghorns are literally just this. It's this one first, uh, and then we run over here, and then the second one is uh. This water is freezing. Over here. I really it's this one. For the cold. I'm pretty sure I don't have to do the Foghorns. Maybe I do. Maybe they maybe they swapped it up. I know this map has gotten a couple updates since I've last played, so this could be it. So that's the third Foghorn. And then the last Foghorn will be far away from this machine. This is the Mojito one. I literally love the perk machine, too. It's literally Vulturade, but like that green look. And then the last one's here. Okay. So yeah, I don't think I have to do Foghorns. Pretty sure I don't. It's just I need to figure out where the frick my orange number is. Uh, orange is on the floor in the back of the stamina up room. Are you serious? Are you serious? So you're telling me some angry viewers watching me this whole time be like, Bro, you passed it 900 times. There's no way it's in this room. There is... It's two. Oh my gosh, I am such an idiot. Why am I the biggest idiot in the world? Oh my gosh. Okay, it's winnable. It's winnable. It's winnable. Ladies and gentlemen, it's winnable. Let's do the code now. So yellow was six. Let's get her done now. Let's get her done. We can actually do this lighthouse step and not be an idiot for two seconds of my life. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot, bro. Okay, yellow, six. We're there. Purple to its number. Purple was five. 
So purple is the, the bottom one. Purple five. Purple's five. Next. Blue to its number. Blue is three. Oof, We've done it. Now time. orange, which was two. Where's my boy orange? Here we go. Two. It's at two. Purple to its number. Five. Purple's at its number, man. Unless I got the numbers. Wait, so you're telling me everything's correct? Wait, so am I just a full-blown idiot? There's a chance that I'm a full-blown idiot. Or also, the Easter egg might not be enabled on this mod. There's actually a high chance that the Easter egg is just not enabled on the mod. Um, that legitimately could be the thing. I also um, could have done the code wrong with the... Uh, what is it? The Foghorns? Great. Um... I don't think I did anything wrong. I'm gonna try the Foghorns again. I'm pretty sure I didn't do that wrong, but oh my gosh, am I literally just the biggest idiot? I literally have the numbers all set correctly as well, unless I have Purple's number wrong, and in which people are just gonna be like, bro, you are literally so dumb. The IQ is leaking from your brain as we speak. I'm gonna buy Mule Kick too. Um, and then it should be this one, and then the last one should be far away. But I'm pretty sure this Foghorn step was only co-op. Maybe I have to knife the- bro, could you imagine if all I had to do to fix this was knife the door? Could you- could you- could you literally imagine? Or, you know what I actually think I messed up? Oh no, bro. I actually might have messed up the the ship handle. Oh, brother, am I in it, bro? If this is actually the reason why, I'm genuinely gonna be the saddest man. Literally the saddest man, bro. If this, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry if this is the reason why. I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! Ladies and gentlemen, it's actually confirmed. I did all the hard steps perfectly fine. It was literally just the easiest step in the world that I failed on. I am literally such an idiot. This is insane. Literally, I cannot believe how much IQ I've lost while playing this. There's so much, bro. So much lost, and for what, man? And for what? That is so funny. Oh, scavenger, let's go. Okay, we'll keep scavenger, but we also need the VR 11. Wow, and I'm just... I am just bewildered at the lack of IQ that I possess. Oh, we got a Pat version. Oh, Pat version Rega. Okay, regardless, though, we need um, the VR 11. So we love time. So also, look at this. This is a custom wonder weapon from the mod called the Razorback. It's a ray gun Razorback. So it's a ray gun SMG. Honestly, I'm going to keep this right here. Look how OP it is. The fire rate is insane, man. Why have a ray gun when you can have this thing, bro? This thing is sick. Okay, honestly, um, I think I'll get rid of Scavenger. I know we're playing Call of the Dead, but like, man, I want to keep this ring for that weapon. Uh, let's get the new gear too. Also, yeah, if you're wondering why the drops are moving towards me, since I'm not hacking, it's my magnet perk. Um, oh, I still have the death machine. That's why it's, it's not letting me hit the box. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, goodbye, Scavenger. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. I have a perk that regenerates ammo for the Scavenger, and bro, that is OP, bro. For real. Ooh, upgraded Python. I'll take it. The Ray Gun, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. Actually, you know, I'll grab it just so we can go faster. Non-upgraded L video game. L video game. M72. Oh, if this was upgraded, that would have been so cool. That would have been insane. Is this upgraded? Oh. Come on. Yeah, as you can see, the chances are low. It's not guaranteed that every weapon is upgraded. Like, this is my third commando, and it's not even upgraded. Yeah, so 
Hopefully we get it upgraded for the VR11. I mean, honestly, we don't need the VR11 upgraded. And also, I think because of that teddy bear per per that I got, we can't physically get a teddy bear anymore. So the mystery box is locked here. So we're literally just fast spinning for this, bro. And I get cash back as well every time I buy this, bro. These perks are insane. Ethereal is still one hitting, bro. That is crazy. Big scavenger. I'm just gonna shoot these out before I uh, get moved. Yes, sir. Man, don't you just leave me with a specter like that, bro. Oh, here we go. We got the upgraded one. Okay, let's see how good this one is. Oh, man. See, I miss the M72 law, man. This thing upgraded was actually so much fun to use. Like, look how good that is, bro. That is so cool. Okay, L96 is not upgraded. I'm gonna throw a Matroish gun before I get absolutely beamed. Okay, G11 upgraded? Nah, they hate us. Oh, I was about to say, is this upgraded scavenger? Nope. I, I have gotten the scavenger literally three times, and the VR11 is still to be seen, bro. Like, what is... Oh, there we go. And we got it upgraded. Hey, let's go. So, literally, right now, we can genuinely finish the Easter egg. So, I'm going to wait until we actually get all of the perks first before we do. Also, I want to upgrade this thing. How is this thing going to look like on this map? Spider's Fizz. Let's go. 35 Hundo. So, also, what's interesting with this is that um, there's no Wonder Fizz on Call of the Dead. So, it's, it, it's not going to be uh, a guaranteed way for us to see which perks we have and which perks we are missing. But I know we are getting close. And also, I do know, I believe that uh, Reaper has made it so that I believe you get a higher chance of the perks that you do not have. Um, so yeah, also change shoes. Honestly, I am not a fan of change shoes. I hate to say it. This perk is really cool. Uh, but it's not really... It's not really that useful. It basically just like gives you headshot extra damage. Which I mean... Doesn't really matter in zombies if you're hitting heads, unfortunately. Uh, what is over here? I have double tap. Oh, muscle milk. Yeah, we do need that. Also, don't end round. Yeah, so this is just... It's basically muscle milk is just pop shocks as a perk. That's pretty much uh, the way it is. Also, where is the path? We don't have it on the map yet. Uh, we have repairman rum. I don't think we have incendiary brandy. Oh, no. We, oh, yeah. Okay, we don't. So this one basically is just burns the zombies when you run past them. Ethereal Razor we've got. Blood Bullets we've got. Yeah, Blood Bullets is a pretty good perk. Not gonna lie, man. Also, let's pop this max and let's hit a, let's hit a gobble. Anything crazy here? Expenditure Exemption. Ooh, huge, huge, huge. Okay, Death Perception we have. I don't know what that one is. We have Mojito. Momentum Mojito. Let's see if there's one over here. Um, Fighter's Fizz and Omega Lull. Let's continue. Let's see if we can get the... What else is over here? Blood Bullets spawned over there. Tombstone we need. Yep. Never in my life would I have been saying that uh, we need Tombstone, but here we are. We legitimately need Tombstone. Mule Kick, we have... I think we have all these. Time Slip has not moved in a bit, bro. Why is that perfect? It has stayed there for just a long, long time. Let's see if we can get Repairman Rums over there, Electric Cherry. Stone Cold, I think we need. I don't think I bought Stone Cold yet, so let's go buy that. Uh, Zomb Shell, I think we also need, too. I haven't bought that either. Uh, what is this? Oh, Miracle Hands Mocha. Yeah, this is the one. This is such a goaded perk as well. It literally changes. It literally changes your perks. Or your power-ups, I mean. Like, how insane is that? If it was perks, that wouldn't be that great. But power-ups, bro. You can change one power-up three times with this perk. It's so insane. Jug, we have... What's up here? Downer's Delight. Double the bleed-out time. Yep, we need that. And then... We also need... I think we have that cashback perk. Do we have Zombie Shell? I, I do have Zombie Shell. I think we're good for now. Yeah, I think we just wait until there's something else. And there's something over here. Stamina up, Vulturade. We have stamina up, right? Do we still not have stamina up? Am I blind? I'm looking for it. I don't think we have stamina up. Wait, we legit don't have... Oh, no, we do have stamina. I see it. Yeah, okay. Uh, and Widows we have. Vulturade we have. Yeah, I think we just end around. 
We just head around. Also, let's find the pap. Where the frick is the pap, bro? He still hasn't spawned it in this absolute hooligan. And yeah, so this is what I was talking about with the submarine. You can see it without the fog there. It shines the green light onto the... Uh, I was about to say the Z house. <laughs> oh, no. The lighthouse. Oh, man. Why you gotta make myself sad like that, bro? <laughs> But it shines it on the lighthouse, and then we get the VR11 gamer, and get him going. Ice Bowl Blast we have, Cash for Perks, Nuka Cola we have. Okay, so yeah, literally, I think we need like less than five perks. So who knows if these are even going to spawn in. We have all of these, Blood Bullets, Victorious Tortoise, uh, Electric Cherry, Stone Cold. Wait, do, we don't have Soul Cold still, do we? I think we still need Soul Cold. Yeah, okay, so Stone Cold. Nice, we got one. Stone Cold's your ultimate camping perk. Honestly, it would be really good on this map if George Romero was actually in the map. Uh, but because he isn't, it's not too, too great. Um, VR11 got... Oh, is he gonna run? Oh, he's gonna run towards the lighthouse. Oh, I should not have shot that. Oh, Luna. Tactical Sangria we have. Honestly, I think I should be alright to do this step. We're just gonna spawn in the Golden Rod. Yeah, so basically, this is the last step of the Easter Egg. I forgot that when you shoot even one VR-11, it just kind of starts it. So I need to throw my Matryoshkas. And just shoot this bro until he starts throwing. Oh bro, I have to get up and shoot him. And there we go. Okay, so now that he is downed, the VR-11 will spawn in, which is so nice. Let's go. Yeah, and I think this is another round where we're waiting here for a bit. Definitely another round. And yeah, that's zombie shell. That orb slows them down. I love the effects of it. It looks great. Uh, let's spawn in another Matryoshka. Raindrops. Yep. Honestly, I think raindrops will be the way that we figure out if we have all the perks. That's kind of pretty much it. Let's see what perk we get from this. We got blaze phase. Oh yeah, we did forget blaze phase. Okay, box or pap has spawned now. Let's go and hit it. Oh, do I have this perk? Oh, no, yeah, that is Mad Gas Moonshine. I've got that. So, Pap is over near where Stamina Up is. We have the Scotch Soda, which gives us, like, bugs that fly. Oh, I thought the Pap went away. Epidemic Beacon. Oh, it's gold, bro. Oh, man, that is so sick. What the heck? That is so cool. Oh, my gosh. Does that ever look sick or what, bro? My gosh, that is insane. Okay, and let's pop the second raindrops as well and see what we're missing. I believe we're now only missing like one or two. Okay, yeah, so we have ICU here. Not bad. And let's see if we can finish this up. Also, the golden rod should have spawned. There it is. The human has been exchanged. We now have the final piece. And you know what? Honestly, let's just finish the Easter egg because I genuinely believe we are almost done. And so we place the golden rod in this tube. It gets sent up, and then we knife. I think we have to knife the fuse until it works. Sometimes you gotta we'll just wait for the dialogue to finish. And yeah, let's let's just also protect ourselves. Uh, I honestly don't know what our last perk that we're missing is. I think we have all the regular perks. Um, so yeah, I don't know what it could be. Okay, here we go. I think we knife the the thing, and then now we're just waiting. Yeah, see, look, you can literally change this. Like, I just made a new. Can I change this into a free perk? That would be so OP. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, there we go. Now, Ultimus has teleported to Shangri-La. Oh, he updated the Stone Cold look. That looks way better, Reaper. Honestly, I really like the circle that you added. This addition looks way, way, way better. Yeah. So before it was like this purple line. It didn't really look that great, but no, this is better. And also, I think the radius that you have is much bigger than the one before. Yeah, because this is much more akin to what it was back in BO4. And as you see, the coolest addition is that it literally updates and you get the Wonder Wap, which is just so sick. It's a, it's a drop in this map. And that is the Call of the Dead Easter Egg. And now whenever you kill George on the map, Instead of spawning in a death machine, he spawns in a Wonder Waff. It's insane to me that Call of the Dead is the only map that ever has a Wonder Weapon as a power-up. I just... I want to bring this back to Die Rise Remastered somehow. That's all I'm going to say, but I'm really excited because I think... 
Wonder Weapons' power-ups especially are kind of cool. You know, they kind of they kind of go hard, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, this is really, really sick. Let's see also where our last perk could be. We have Death Perception. We have Stone Cold. We have Deadshot. We have Bandolier. Vulture Aid. We have Stamina Up. I believe we have that Snowflake perk. Yes, we do. Bro, is this perk machine just permanently time slip? Is something wrong with this? What's going on here? It's just permanently time slip, bro. Yeah, I guess I guess that one is just the time slip spot. And then Ethereal Razor we have, and then the Magnet perk and Blood Bullets we also have. So honestly, our best bet might just be to spin gobbles and see if we can get the rest via raindrops. Would be my guess. Uh, let's so let's go up and actually hit it. And also, yeah, the coolest part is that this. This power-up is actually time-based, so you really have to prioritize the way you do it. Like, the high rounds on Call of Dead are literally based like you, off of all of that. ABH, pretty good. Don't really need it, though, so far. The Matryoshkas also in this map are infinite damage, which is why I absolutely love that. Shopping free. I guess I'll grab it just for the Gobblegum. Just look how fast I'm able to go through the animations of this game, man. It is just so crazy. Cash back, honestly, I'll grab, why not? Um, I'm just gonna use this just to end the round fast and we'll hit for raindrops again. But seriously, ladies and gentlemen, if you have never played Call of the Dead Remastered, I highly, highly recommend you guys playing this because this is genuinely one of the most amazing remasters of a map and it's not even made by Treyarch, which is even more crazy to me. Like that just goes to show that you don't got to be Treyarch to make bangers anymore. And that is... If that ain't the truth, I don't know what it is, man. So, let's end that round here. Get that maxi. Also, Death Perception is so nice, especially on this map, seeing where the zombies are coming from. And well, I don't even know what my other weapons are. We have the Resonator. We have the Epidemic. Oh! I, I, oh, I, yeah. And then my last one's VR-11. I was like, what's my Mule Kick weapon? Yeah, it's literally the VR-11. And here we go. Another cash back. I'm just going to take this and we'll just keep spinning. We get a raindrops here yes we do lovely okay and the greatest thing about the vr11 in this mod as well or this map remaster is that it actually acts like a monkey bomb you see how all the zombies are chasing him i just love that like that is legit the way it should have originally been but let's go let's hit a raindrops here let's see if we get another perk oh vigor rush was the other perk that we forgot so this perk is amazing, especially on something like the death machine that I'm holding on right now. Because not only am I shooting two times faster with double tap, but the bullets are explosive from bigger rush. And so really, when you have the combination of the two, you really have double tap 4.0, in my opinion. You got, you got some insane bullet power. And so it also works on any bullet weapons as well. Doesn't work on a ray gun type wonder weapon. Uh, but it does work on anything that shoots bullets and it's just like wow you can see the damage and what's also crazy is i believe the explosive bullets give you a ton more points as well so it's real it just really goes hand in hand with everything and does an absolutely stellar job so let's go again pop this see if we get another perk elemental pop hey okay so there are a couple perks that we're missing i did not even realize we're missing elemental uh, what perk is that down there? Let's go see. Uh, oh, yeah, we have that perk as well. We have the no brew perk. I, I genuinely believe... Oh, that's muscle milk. We have that. I genuinely believe we must be so close. Literally so close to having all the perks. Like, there is no way we aren't close at this point. ABH. Uh, I'm gonna use this just to check all the perk machine areas. We have Miracle Hands Mocha. We have Mojito, we have Fighter's Fizz, we have Magaz Moonshine, we have Victorious Tortoise, we have Daminade, Time Slip, Death Perception, I don't know what that one is, let's go check. What is this one? Banana Colada, of course we got my boy. We have Incendiary Brandy, we have uh, Bandolier, we have the Snowflake one, Double Tap, Downers Delight, Elemental Pop, Real Kick. What's that other one over there though? And Crusader's Ale, I think we also have. Let's just go run and check. Um, PhD Slider we have. Deadshot. Tombstone. Quick Revive. Yep, we got all those. Mule Kick. What is this one over on our left here? Some of them don't have full-on icons. So I don't know if I have this one. 
Oh, this is Vigor Rush. It literally just spawned in. Yeah, so this is what the perk would have actually looked like. Um, let's end round, and I'm pretty sure on our last raindrops here, we will literally get enough um, to end it off. And the elemental pop was literally right here. Yeah, absolutely insane, man. Okay. Wow. Yeah, Call of Dead is quite a big map, man. That's why it can be quite difficult to find all the perks on here. But, I mean, we did it. We got it done, brother. We got it done. And let's let's hit that gobble gum now, baby. Yeah, man. I'm so, like, I just... I, anybody that says gobble gum is not a good addition, I have to disagree, bro. Like, you can just not run it, you know? That's the greatest part about gobble gum. You don't have to use this mechanic. It's not like it's, like, ingrained in everything that you need to do. Uh, also, I'm gonna hit the gobble gum machine down the zip. I just love how clean the zip line animation is as well on Call of the Dead, man. It looks so nice. Okay, and then this is our last gobble gum for the round. Shopping for a little unfortunate. Uh, but we can hit another perk if we have it. We can get it a little unlucky with our perks, can't lie. Uh, pack box we have. Yeah, and also, I do have to say that uh, I know there's perk upgrades on this mod, but we should have all of the perk upgrades pretty much already. Uh, can I switch to a power-up? Nope. <laughs> it said insta-kill and gave me a double point. <laughs> That's so funny. I think I switched it, like, literally last second. That is so funny. Why did it say that, bro? Uh, Winter's Whale. I do have. Okay, yeah, I just recently got that one. Zombshell, PhD, Vulture, yep. How about over here? Down is Light Repairman, Nuka Cola. A couple ones I don't have over there. Dying Wish Bandolier. I guess I'll check over here and just make sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna nuke. Anything over here, my brethren, that I do not have? Widows we have. There's another one I don't know. Bigger Rush was this one. Teddy Bear. Uh, Electric Cherry. Muscle milk. I don't know what that one is. That looks a little odd. Let's let's go down and check. Also, one of the things I love that this remaster did is it added an area for you to jump right down here. Okay, I might not have this perk. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is ICU. Yeah, okay. So that one I didn't have literally until like last round. So yeah, I think for sure once we get this last raindrops, I'm pretty sure we might actually be already done. Um but we'll see. And yeah, I mean, you really don't need the 50 perks to do this Easter egg. I mean, the only one that I guess kind of helps is pack a box. It gives you the pack of weapons. So that might give you an easier chance uh, to get, you know, the VR-11. Or also time slip allows you to go through the box cycling faster. But bro, elemental pop also on this map is super OP. What's the ult mode fire on this? Oh, it shoots like a Wonder Wolf? Wait, I gotta try that out. What the heck is that all about? This should be raindrops. Yes, it is. So, wait, wait, hold on. What's the alt fire on this? Oh, it is a waff. What the heck? That is so cool. So, this map pretty much already has a waff on this mod. What the heck? That's actually so sick. Does it actually chain? Oh, it does. That is so cool. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that confirms that we have all 50 plus perks on Call of the Dead. As you can see, we've got another free perk bottle. And they do not spawn in. I will just end the game here. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Call of the Dead remastered with all 50 perks. I did hope you guys enjoyed this Black Ops 1 Zombies Easter egg with 50 perks. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see y'all in that next one, baby.